so hello guys welcome to the new video so one of my student got placed in a multinational cro last month and all of a sudden all the student wanted to work in a cro so a lot of students did not know exactly what a cro is and what exactly they do so that they play a very critical role in clinical trial so let's know about them in this video One, two, So first and foremost, what is a CRO? So CRO stands for a contract research organization, sometimes referred to as a clinical research organization. So this is an organization which is contracted by other company for trial management services. And now other companies can be pharmaceutical companies, biotech companies or medical devices industry. So once you develop your molecule, you have to conduct a clinical trial. So according to ICGCP, the sponsor can give some of his, his responsibility to a third party organization which can do or perform clinical trial on behalf of this sponsor so by this the cro's reduce the cost of the research and development and they help these businesses or the institutions in ever evolving need of pharma and the medical devices industry so they are hired by the sponsor to perform a set of responsibilities it can be some responsibility or all of the responsibility of the clinical trial and the sponsor monitors all the progress of the clinical trial through the CRO. So this is how a CRO works. Now, how does uh, how do they work is that they provide you the clinical research support services of the trial and they provide wide range of services to the medical sponsor. Now, which can be as listed as you can see here. They do your project management. They do your data management. They also do the study management all of the trials across the country across various sites they also help you in recruiting of the subjects for the clinical trial they also conduct monitoring visits where my student got a place so that they can audit the quality of the data they also help you in regulatory compliance and submissions which you require in clinical trial they also work in etmf the trial master file management and the records management so that all the data is according to the regulatory requirements once the data is generated they also perform statistical analysis and they also work with safety and efficacy reporting if there are any adverse event if there are any sa they will also look at the proper submissions of it and finally once the data is generated they also perform the final clinical study report and which helps the sponsor to get this work done in a shorter span of time and with more precision and efficacy this in turn translates into submission on time of that particular uh, drug approval and then marketing so what is the role or significance of the cr and why are they uh, one of the most critical players in the clinical trial industries because this cro perform a unique role of planning coordination execution and supervising the process of clinical trial and the drug development and these cro's are so efficient that they become a central point of contact between the sponsor and various stakeholders now various stakeholders uh, can be the ethics committee the regulatory agency all of the vendors all of the hospitals the clinical trial sites and they perform all the coordination and the administration of the clinical trial very efficiently so what signifies their working is that they provide you a, with a very specialized knowledge and manpower capabilities which includes that they hire experts they hire people who have uh, the global level skills they help uh, also sponsor by reducing their workload because they take most of the responsibility they ensure that the trial quality and compliance with regulatory authority is impeccable and they also help in technological tools and increase efficiency of the study processes by bringing new technologies new aspects to the clinical trial so that it streamlines the data flow and reduces the cost and finally the efficiency of the operation is one of the key roles and responsibilities of a cro because it helps in projecting by when this particular trial shall get over and by when we are planning a regulatory submission and getting the approval next would be now once you have decided that you want to do your career and work for a cro you need to know which are the major players in your industry so obviously the listed are one of the major players and these are not just major players these are the multinational players who work across the globe conducts trials for top pharma companies 
so this uh, major players are icovia without a shadow of a doubt then lacob drug development has been uh, very aggressive with providing jobs with uh, conducting trials next are the sinos health along with ppd and icon and there is also charles rivers laboratory one of the very uh, oldest and good companies also just to set your perspective the global cro services market is projected to grow from 73.38 billion dollars to 163.48 billion dollars by 2029 so you can imagine the kind of revenue that these people are generating and this clearly signify the rapidly growing clinical research job opportunities so that you this industry is going to grow medical research industry as you know during the pandemic is very critical and this translate into job opportunities and job creation and here you can seek a very very good career so speaking about making a very good career our friends at clinical aim research are doing fantastic job by providing you this advanced certification clinical research which my student did and due to which she got placed in a cro so make sure that uh, if you are interested you can go for their course and they provide impeccable knowledge so make sure you call them and finally thank you for watching this video if some of your students uh, or fellow colleagues are unaware of clinical research share them this video make sure you subscribe to the channel and thank you